Hello everyone, you are at the Angular CDK Crash Course. In this video, you will learn how to transfer elements between lists. But before we start, please make sure you already know how to rearrange the data in the list as we learned in the previous video. So here I have a list as we built in the previous video. First of all, let's add one more list to transfer data between. Here I'm adding a template and a data source for it. Then we add a rethink the way we handle the drop event. Since we want to move the data between two lists, we can just use move item and array function directly, as we did for rearranging. Instead, we have to check whether a new container is the same container as it was. If so, using move item and array to move this element to the new position. If not, Angular CDK provides us with a transfer array item function that moves items between two arrays. It accepts data sources you want to transfer element between, previous index and current index. Also, we need to tell CDK that our lists are connected to each other. To do so, you can use CDK drop list group directive. It groups an infinite number of lists inside and allows us to transfer data between them. And a final cut. As we stated, to transfer data, we are using move item and array and transfer array item functions. Those functions accept data sources to transfer data between. Here we are getting them from the drop event. But drop event have no idea about connected data sources yet. So we need to provide appropriate data sources. We can do so using CDK drop list data directive. Now, just enjoy it. The link to the source code is at the description. Like and subscribe to be notified about new videos. And thank you for watching.